Welcome guys to another Dauntless video, and this time we're gonna do Strike. Strike is basically one of the most interesting behemoths out there because it's so mobile, but like, it's easy to boot. Especially with Trios, modifiers are so weird because you get Darkness and you also have the uh, Sylvian Stings or whatever. Basically, there's just mini cats who attack you if you're alone or far away from the behemoth. So it's an incentive of being close to the behemoth and as well as you can attack it. It's not a big deal. Spinning attacks is very, very useful when it comes to these mini cats kind of thing. Um, again, ideally for this trial, you get dodge and boot. And I'm going to show you guys what loadout I'm using. Most of my loadouts are based on survivability as well as damage. And discipline, Iceborne, and Rage are perfect. Tough kind of helps you have a little bit more tanky kind of build. As well as Energize and Overpower, obviously for Overpower. For the, and when you're being, uh, when you're staggering the Behemoth, it's ideal because you add more damage. Um, but with this uh, behemoth entirely, it's so mobile, like, by the time you actually get hits on it, like, you want to go with something that's basically more mobile, like, a mobile weapon, in my case. Again, this is not to beat, uh, beat this under three minutes, this is mostly just to tackle and beat trials on your own, no problem, so you can, like, get better at it, too. As you can tell, the ideal key element with this behemoth is avoiding the darkness, or avoiding the mini cats, as well as fighting through the darkness, but most of the time... All you do is boot. Um, even when it's dark, you can kind of tell what kind of uh, attack the BMS will do. Uh, mainly because every time he, before he attacks, you'll hear like a certain noise, and the booping or the the part when he attacks you is it called an unstable attack. It's very very uh, distinguishable from the rest of his attacks. When you're avoiding his jump attacks, also you got to be careful and his tornado. But usually after every tornado, he will go into that charge move, the unstable move. And as long as you can master that, it's no problem, as you can tell. Uh, the cat, the cats were basically very, very annoying. But again, as long as you're attacking the behemoth up close, you're fine. They will leave you alone, which is like, the ideal thing you got to do with this trial, anyways. And the only thing you have to do is, again, every time there's a tornado, he will come at you. Sometimes it does miss and it doesn't register, so you might have to just get ready to dodge, just like right here. I knew that he was going to charge at me in the darkness, but it still didn't uh, stagger him, so be very careful. And again, you can tell from the ex uh, experience that what he does, and you can hear his like little shuriken attack, and as long as you can know to avoid uh, using a dodge while he makes the sound, you're all good. Uh, Molten is also good to add into this factor just to add more attack speed and movement speed. Mainly because if you're using, um, if, I, I don't go by stamina, because if I don't have stamina, I usually run slow and I can't do most of my attacks. And with the chain blades, it gives you the opportunity to dodge attacks like that, like enrage attacks, with your um, special R1, basically. And you can use that to get close, get far, avoid damage, um, and just simply just uh, get close, is ideally what you want to do with this um, behemoth. I basically use the Hellion chain blades just to create kind of a burn effect, and it's one of the most... Uh, not, I wouldn't say overpowered, but very powered um, chain blades when it comes to all of them. Mainly because you can put two power slots and it's awesome. Again, like I said, group away and good luck to you guys. Hopefully you guys beat it. Peace.